He's a Tony Award winner and the director of Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Please welcome George C. Wolf. So, first, costume fitting. The incredible Ann Roth, the astonishing Viola Davis. Ann has this little white cap that she decided that Ma should have when she's riding in her car. You just saw it. And Viola puts on the hat, and she sits. And I'm just there, observing. And something happens. It's like Viola's sitting there, and everybody's talking, everybody's chatting, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, Viola's gone. And there's Ma. And then everybody goes back to talking. Now, in addition to being an artist of astonishing craft and a psychoanalyst who can discuss everybody's pathology, I tried to hide because I thought she was going to analyze mine, <laughs> and, 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 and a dramaturg and the understanding of language and storytelling and everything, I am convinced that there is this portal inside of her that leads to this room where all of her ancestors hang out. And they're down, and then the ancestors of the ancestors are hanging out down there. And they're defiant and joyful and full of love and full of light. And Viola Davis is joyful and defiant and full of life. And then when she gets to talking to them, and they get to talking to her, and then the craft comes in, and then the language comes in, and the psychoanalysis comes in. Magic and mystery and unbelievable power takes over. And that's what I saw in those three seconds when she was sitting in that chair. <laughs> Theater and film are very interesting to me. When film is working, you tend to lean back because of the scale of what you are witnessing. When theater is working, you tend to lean in because you're recognizing your own frailty. When watching Viola, it's schizophrenic <laughs> because you are taking in this unbelievable power and command and you are also witnessing with she and her ancestors and the forces that make her and comprise her and the joy and the light and the love that she exudes, she shares so gloriously her heart and her frailty. She is a great artist. And when you are allowed to bathe in the wonder of her work, she is also a great healer. I love you, Viola. <laughs> 